So, due to the kidney stone issues I'm having, I actually didn't get in the water for two days. That's how I get on me. <laughs> so, I'm back at it now. I'm very grateful to be doing so. But there's a couple days where I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't even move. I did. I mean, I wanted to just lay there, but the second day I actually got up and went to a hot yoga practice, which I talked about in my last video, the last live stream. So today makes, I believe, three weeks free from nicotine, 100% free from nicotine. So that's good. The cravings are gone completely. Next, food was a struggle, which the kidney stones knocked out of me real quick because obesity is like the number one cause of kidney stones, probably second to, to what is in your diet itself. This too shall pass. I'm about to do my breath work meditation, which I also didn't do for two or three days in there. A whole breathwork beats meditation and I have exactly an hour before I'm due to be at work which is right around the corner so getting back to doing all the things in the morning sent out a whole slew of texts already uh, did some a morning zoom read page 86 in the big book maybe I'll read page 417 I don't know yet all I have to do perfect is not drink or drug today but I realized I felt myself slipping and it's my pattern to go really hard uploading a bunch of videos and then stop and then like stop making my bed and then stop cleaning my car which is definitely the case so I'm just slowly getting back on the horse here but as long as I don't drink or, or use no matter what I have another chance and another day to focus on being a little bit better, right? Even if it's at 1%. Just did the latest breathwork beats meditation or breathwork. And man, those one minute breath holds are still kicking my ass three weeks after quitting smoking cigarettes. No one's told you today, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. And best of luck on your journey let me know where you're at on your journey you know lastly I'll say this I work in the food industry and the other day I saw somebody blasted off a croton and I could just see the nose itch going on in this trend you know it's a trend amongst waiters it's it's a lot safer and more acceptable than like being on heroin right or taking pain pills, which is, is not very sustainable, but when you can buy this green powder from the store, you could do it all season long, just like I did last season. And and was thinking I was making more money, and uh, but I was just so out of whack and out of balance. So when I stopped, you saw what happened. That's what this channel is all about. But I, uh, you know, this, this person's like saying hi to someone. They're like, how you doing? And, and, and this person's like, I feel great. And I'm like, yeah, I know you do. And you know, you're not fooling anyone but yourself. Cause when you stop taking that substance, you're not going to feel so great. Take it from me. I'm about to do a 75 minute yoga class in, in a heated room, 90 nine degrees because it sucks but afterwards I feel great even right now I have the dopamine rush of knowing I'm about to do it and I'm not picking up a drink or drug I'm, I'm not smoking cigarettes I'm doing all these seemingly difficult things and that's what makes me feel great right does that make sense I don't know anyways I love you but I'm not in love with you thanks for stopping by Peace and love.